or not, we don't know. But there definitely is a question mark left. And now let's go to leave the scenario of Kenya. The scenario of Kenya is the same like Zimbabwe. But Zimbabwe, I congratulate them because they have had their own first election for 30 years. For the, almost 30 years now, they have their own first election. Now comes the culture of voters even. The culture of our voters in, in African style. Mm. They are all the same. The culture of voters and the culture of people who face the elections. Mm. That's only where the problem lies. Even the candidate themselves, they don't trust whether the voters will vote them. They don't trust the people who are entitled to attack the job, whether it will be taken. Mm. That is the difference between the developed countries and the third countries. And, and third world countries. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me come to you, Kipchumba. And moving away from Zimbabwe, because I want us to look at it from a wide scope of Africa, we have uh, John Pierre Bemba coming back to DRC. And from the description, he came back to a hero's welcome. Now, this is somebody who's just come from the ICC. He had been convicted of war crimes and uh, seems like he could put up a fight. He's been away for more than 10 years yes. from the country, yet there has been no leadership or based on, you know, the, the reception he got from the people of DRC, it looks like there has been nobody in the last 10 years that would now have taken over from Jean-Pierre Bemba. He could actually be president. Mr. Gitonga, the, the problem we have in this continent is one. We look at leadership as a factor of production. That is where we get it wrong. Whenever we, we look, whenever we talk about leadership, people look at it as an opportunity at the pedestal for me to enrich myself. Mm. That is where the, all, all our problems begin. Secondly, there is another problem. Mm. The problem that elections are only free and fair when the opposition sends home a ruling government. That is also the danger. <laughs> that that is the only, we can sit here and say, those who are free, free and, fair. and fair elections. <laughs> if today Chamisa had been announced the winner, mm. you will have seen what people have done. Everybody will have held Zimbabwe for being a free and fair election. Democratic. It is a democracy. Look at it. What is democracy? And I have, I have always held the op opinion that democracy has failed us. It is time we move forward to other aspects of leadership or other aspects of governance. The democratic model has failed us. Why? Because democracy in itself has failed to spur economic growth. Look at, for example, a good country like Tanzania. It has all the democratic when you say, ingredients. When you say democracy has failed, are we saying democracy has failed in Africa? No, 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 no. Has democracy worldwide? has failed worldwide. And I'll take you home. Look at the kind of options people are getting. Donald Trump, for example, is a choice of democracy. Mm. Look at even people like Akina Duarte. They are a choice of democracy. So when you look at real democracy, what it is for us, mm. There is, but it you is, have winners like France. No, but look at it at a larger perspective. I, I welcome you back home. <laughs> look at people who are governing this country as governors. 80% mm -hmm. of them, we have fear even to, to call their names because they might have won in the popularity contest, but they are lacking on other things. So going back to the Pierre Bemba issue, politics as, a, as now a, a doctrine, mm -hmm. politics is anchored on something. When you come home after going to those international courts or after having a misfortune, mm -hmm. you can easily use it as a, as, as, as a springboard to tell your people, look here, I went there, I defeated the highest court. Look at what happened to us in 2013. The ICC was used as, as, as a springboard of our elections, and we can see problem. But if you may allow me to say something about Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. For Zimbabwe, I think... Zimbabwe, while I congratulate Monagagwa for winning, I also take a lot of lessons from Chamisa. Chamisa. my senior Chamisa, because he's also an advocate. Nelson Chamisa, there is a lot. And it also goes to tell us that the, the youthful population in society is getting tired with the establishment way of running things. For a person who was a PA to the late Changirai, to just come from the woodworks and to garner that votes, it tells you that there is a lot of uh, disenfranchisement of the general public 
from the establishment. Because as far as I'm concerned, Munagagwa, whether he overthrew Mugabe or not, he's still an establishment person. Mm -hmm. He's a person who is entire political life. He has grown through the system. In fact, there was a question of whether there would be any pure change from uh, Mnagangwa, given that he was uh, literally uh, Mugabe's right-hand man. And even some of uh, the things that Mugabe is accused of, he's, a, he's apparently one of the yeah, people who championed them. You know, them. Mr. Gitonga, it will be expecting too much when you just pick a part of a old broom and you expect it to sweep more cleaner than the other, the, the main right. broom. We'll, we'll, well, we'll wait and see, and I don't know if their court system uh, yeah. has a chance for them to review, but, well, according to the results announced, we have uh, Mnagangwa as the president-elect of Zimbabwe.